Stephanie, thank you very much for that introduction. Hey, is everyone happy to be here today? Excellent. I'm happy to be here too. Every two weeks, right? We come here, we're energized, we're enthused, we're motivated, we're looking to get our life going, our businesses going. That's important. That's what we should be doing every day. When we wake up in the morning, positive thoughts enter our head. 10 o'clock comes around, we're still moving forward. We want to continue to move forward. And it's important. And that's what one of my goals is with It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta. I'm trying to give information to individuals so they can look at this information in a different way. Because what I talk about has already been invented. It's been said that everything you need to know has already been written, correct? Some people will cite the Bible. It's all in there. But we have to hear it differently. Sometimes we have to hear it 10, 20, 40, 100 times. And my favorite part of talking with individuals and giving these talks is then when I see, aha, I get it. I get it. And that's why I do what I do. But today our theme of our show is what is networking? What is networking? What exactly is networking? What, what do you hope to accomplish by coming here and meeting people? What do you hope to accomplish by going to any networking event? Do you have a goal? Do you know who you want to meet? Do you know what you're going to say when someone asks you, what do you do? Are you going to answer in a way that's going to provide a leading a, a, a question as a response? Are there individuals who you're looking for to sell to? Are there individuals who you're looking for who can lead you to business? Or do you just show up? I believe a lot of people just show up. I believe people come to a meeting having no idea what they're going to do. They just know that they have three hours to fill in their day. They look at their schedule on a Sunday and go, wow, I have five days. What can I do to fill my time because I don't have enough to do? But if you're going to network, you need to have a plan. You need to have goals. You need to have a reason for being there. This is what I think about people who go networking. I think they're business card collectors. Remember baseball cards when you were younger? When I was younger, I collect baseball cards, football cards. Uh, baby girls would collect dolls. I think as people get older and now in their business, they're business card collectors. And what do they do with these? What do they do with those? They put them in a binder. You ever see those people that put them in a binder? Nothing against that. Organized, I love organization. But I have talked with people who showed me, look at my binder. And they start going 1, 2, 20, 30. I have 400 business cards in here. My question is, you mean to tell me you have a relationship with all 400 of those people that you are confident in recommending? That are a part of your team? I don't believe that. I don't believe that in a minute. I believe networking, we want to find people on our team, but 400? So what well, the question I ask is, so what are you going to do with all these cards you got? You know, I'll ask, how was that event last night? How was that event last night? And they will say, oh, it was great. I, I met 40 people. I got 40 business cards. How long were you there? Ah, oh, about an hour and a half. So let me do the math. Let me do the math. What is that about? Two minutes, less than two minutes a person that you spent time with, collected a card? Was that valuable? Was that valuable? You know, a lot of people don't know how to network. It's a skill. I can talk for four hours. I can give a coaching session on it. But I just want to give a little bit of information about what networking is. If I were to bring my dog to a networking event, I have a cute little dog. He's a dachshund. He's about 14 pounds. Well, I guess he's not so little, but he's got his little belly on the bottom. Now, if I were to bring him to a networking event and I put a satchel on his back, on one side, it would say, take my card. And he'd have cards in that satchel. On the other side, 
it would say, leave your card. And I would walk around with Oliver. I'm willing to bet he'll collect 60 cards, and I'm willing to bet that 60 people will take his card. Question I have to ask, was Oliver networking? <laughs> was Oliver networking? I don't think he was networking. But you know, I look at networking in my life, in everything I do, it's just not coming to an event that's important with networking. It's about everything you do is, is putting yourself out there on a personal and professional way. It really is. I, I, I'm going to give you some examples to me that I was surprised where I found business from. When I first moved here a little over seven years ago, I went to Starbucks. It was on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 7 a.m. I was going to a meeting, got in line. That's 7 a.m., just moved here, I'm meeting new people. All right, standing in line. Woman turns around. Happy Valentine's Day. How are you today? Now, there were two things I could have done. I'm from New York. I could have gave her some New York. I could have ignored her. I could have, uh, I'm good. I decided to engage. I decided to engage. Thank you. I'm great too. Happy Valentine's Day to you. We ended up striking a conversation. We went outside. I found out that she had a pet sitting service. I told her what I did. We ended up forming a relationship that to this day, I still get referrals from. I didn't know that was going to happen. That wasn't my intention. But that's what networking is about. It's about making a connection with people. It's about looking for something, some type of commonality that we have, a philosophy of life, a philosophy of business, something that draws you to that person that makes you want to do business with them. It's not about just going to an event and collecting cards because I ask people, what are you going to do with all these cards that you met, that you, that you got today? And what do they say, right? Oh, I'm going to put them in my database. I'm going to put them in my database. That's great. So what are you going to do now? Well, I'm going to send them my newsletter. So you're just going to spam them. You're just going to send an unsolicited ad. Is that what you're going to do? Oh, well, I'm going to connect with them on LinkedIn. LinkedIn to me is sort of like business cards. A lot of people make connections. They have no idea what they're doing with LinkedIn. They have no idea what they could be doing with it. Oh, I'm going to make them my Facebook friend. That's another great one. It's really about the connection that we have. It's about reaching out, setting an appointment with someone, meeting them, getting to know who they are. Networking is work. Networking takes time. I mean, we've all had the, the opportunity to meet that person for one minute or not meet that person at a meeting and then all of a sudden you get an email from a person you didn't meet telling you how wonderful it was to meet you <laughs> and you shake your head going who is this did we meet them it's not credible behavior people want to see credible behavior before I refer someone I want to make sure that we're like-minded I want to make sure that you understand your business. I want to make sure that you're going to take care of my clients as I take care of them. Because if you don't, you're not getting my referral. It's as easy as that. So think about your networking. Your networking. When you go out to a meeting, have a goal. One, have a goal. Who do you want to meet? Do you want to meet a gate opener for yourself? Do you want to meet someone who can give you business? Are you looking to recruit for your business? Are you looking just to sell a product at that meeting? What I like to do is look for three people. If I can make three great connections, I consider that a success. Now, I want you all to know here that the information I give, again, is not, I'm not inventing anything. It's all out there. 
but it's implementation that's important. It's wanting to take the information and actually using it. It's taking the baby steps to lead you to bigger steps. Before you know it, you're running and sprinting and nobody can stop you. And nobody can stop you. And that's what success is about, taking those little steps and leading you to greatness. I hope I gave you some information that helped you today. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah.